We are 5 months in 2025 and I want to see how Microsoft's 3 latest Windows editions dating back to 2009 has any advantages over each other in terms of speed. I'm excluding Windows 11, which I personally don't really like and this computer doesn't support. As you may know, with every new Windows edition, Microsoft is also increasing the minimum hardware requirements for your PC to function with the OS and you can pause the video right now to observe the table if you want to. And logically, Windows 10 should be the slowest, but we'll see. So here I have this Lenovo Z50 from 2014 and I only upgraded its hard drive from an SSHD to an SSD and I'll make a completely separate video on this by the way. It has an Intel Core i5-4210U, 8 gigs of RAM and 500 gigs of storage. I'll be running different tests to see which one is quicker in everyday usage. I guess the first thing to try is to boot these guys up. So as you can see, the green one is Windows 7, pink is Windows 8.1, and blue is Windows 10. In the end, I will write down the sum of the one tests. Whoever has the smallest number wins. So Windows 8.1 was first, 10 was second, but Windows 7 is the last and it just took ages. But I can forgive him because of the glory start of animations with the stars. It's just beautiful. Okay, so as we are here, we shall also unlock them. Windows 7 was the fastest, Windows 10 following up, and Windows 8.1 is the last. Oh wait, wait a minute, in Windows 8 I think I should just change this wallpaper. Alright, great. Now, most ordinary people use Google Chrome, so let's open it up. As you can see, Windows 7 was first, 10 was second, and 8.1 was the third. Now, let's go to some common websites like Google, YouTube, and Gmail. By the way, bear in mind that this is just a test for fun. It may very well depend on your internet speed, your components and compatibility. Windows 7 got first place in two of the tests, so did Windows 8 and Windows 10 came to last two times. Downloading a photo from Google Photos was very quick with all of them, but Windows 10 came to last by a fraction of a second. About the system apps, they pretty much all launched at the same time and some of the difference here is due to the animations. Now it's time to transfer a file. This is actually my previous video on my channel about why Windows 8 didn't succeed, so if you want, after this one, you can watch that. Also, I should also say that you should just not daily drive any of these Windows versions as they have a really high risk of security. And that said, Windows 8.1, 1, Windows 10 followed up, and Windows 7 came last. Now, let's see some statistics. How much of the resources do they actually consume? Windows 7 and 8 are at uh, 1.9 gigs of RAM, while Windows 10 is at 2.2. Now, let's shut these computers down. As a side note, I would have also really liked to compare Windows 8 and 10's launch of the major apps, but none of them really work. While Windows 7 is trying to shut down, let me tell you that I made this video as a normal daily style use. I think that these are generally what a normal person would do on their PC on a daily basis. If you want a more statistic, full and gamer oriented comparison, drop a comment, I'll try to do it. Windows 8.1 and 10 just shut down instantly basically, but the fan noise of the computer continued for like 3 seconds more. But Windows 7, it, it's just so slow. Despite its long boot and shutdown times, the winner of the comparison is Windows 7. Thanks a lot for watching.